I was invited to do it by Cambridge, and actually the invitation came as a surprise. And my first reaction was, does the world need another biography of Freud? So uh, I started both ruminating about the question and also started investigating the biographical literature that was out there. And while I have been teaching and writing about Freud for 30 years, I hadn't really systematically read his work since I was a graduate student and a psychoanalytic candidate. Nor had I kept up with the, the, the biographical literature that had come out in the interim. So I undertook a systematic rereading of his, his uh, the standard edition and I also uh, perused the new biographical literature. And as I read Freud systematically for this second time, one thing really leapt out from the page, namely that the figure of the mother was missing. It was missing in his, his own uh, uh, self-analysis, the interpretation of dreams, in his case studies, and most, uh, uh, maybe uh, with the broadest implications, also from his theories of culture and religion. And uh, I had to ask myself two questions. A, why had I not realized this when I'd read him originally? Uh, and B, uh, what were the consequences for his thinking uh, of this absence of the mother and what was it in his biography that might account for it? Now, the things that changed since I was a student and a psychoanalytic ca candidate was really the impact of fem feminism, of infant research, uh, of attachment theory, and what's called the pre oedipal turn in psychoanalysis. So in the last 30 years, we've become much more attuned uh, to the topic of the mother and the early mother. Uh, that's the reason, which you might call the hermeneutical reason. I was, I was reading for it this time within a different horizon that it left out from the page. And then I had to ask myself, well, why, well, you know, any interpreter, once they realize this, would have to try and explain it. And in the last, during the same period of time, uh, there's been a lot of historical research on Freud and uh, a whole new f academic field of Freud studies have developed. And much of that has focused on the first three years of his life uh, in Freiburg, which is a city which is now in the Czech Republic, 150 miles north of Vienna. And Freud and his followers had presented a very idealized picture of his early life, especially his relationship to his mother. And the new biographical studies and the uh, uh, Freud studies, uh, given this new sensibility to the role of the mother that came out of feminism and infant research and so on, uh, realized that uh, Freud had actually had a quite traumatic relationship to his early mother. And that the idealized picture that we've received of that relationship was just that, an idealization that attempted to deny the extent of the trauma. So the thesis I came up with was the reason for the absence of the mother in Freud's work was because he had himself to repress and split off his early experience in this traumatic relationship to his mother.